Hallelujah. Child of God, I specially welcome you to tonight's prayers. And my prayer for you is that after tonight's prayers, the Lord will give you revelational knowledge. The Lord will not only give you revelational knowledge, He's going to heal your dream world. And every affliction and the ministry of afflictors will be thoroughly aborted out of your life. In the name of Jesus Christ. Very quickly before we go into the prayers properly, I want to show you some scriptures. Because someone might be asking and saying, why do we need to pray against uh, dream afflictors and dream afflictions? Why is it very, very important? Why must a child of God dream? Mama, I don't always dream. I am not interested in this program. I don't know why you brought it up. Child of God, by the end of this revelational knowledge from the word of God, I believe you will begin to desire to dream because it's of great benefit to every believer. First of all, I want to let you know that dreaming is one of the manifestations of the gift of the Holy Spirit. <laughs> Are you surprised to hear that? To have a dream, dreaming is one of the gifts that you receive when you are actually baptized in the Holy Spirit. You remember what the scripture said in Acts chapter 2 verses 7 and in Jewel chapter 2 verses 28. Let me show you that scripture because you need to see it. Let's see Jewel 2 28. It said that we, we the sons and daughters of the living God. Let If you read from verses um. From verse 25, he said that the Lord will restore unto us the years that the canker worm, the palmer worm, the hooker worm has eaten up. And he went further to let us know that um, after he has done this, your sons and daughters will dream dreams. Your sons and daughters will dream dreams. I, I don't know if that is in your Bible, but let me um, open that Jewel chapter 2 for reference purpose. Jewel chapter 2, please go with me to verses 28. 28 says, and it shall come to pass after afterward that I will pour out my spirit upon all flesh. Did you hear that? I will pour out my spirit upon all flesh, upon both the male and the female, the young and the old. And your sons and your daughters shall prophesy. Your old men shall dream dreams. Your young men shall see vision. When you see the Bible talk about old men, it's not talking about old men by age. It's talking about those that have trained themselves mentally. Not just babies, but when you are a mature Christian, one of the signs that you are filled in the Holy Spirit is that God will begin to unveil things to you through dreams. Nothing will happen unto you except the Lord unveils it to you. So I am here to make, make you understand that dreams, I, 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 when, when somebody dreams, is not bad. It's not actually bad. It, especially if the person has actually um, grown in their spiritual life. Actually, if, if, you are, if you have actually grown spiritually, it's one of the manifestations of the Holy Spirit. Uh, I, I read also in 1 Samuel chapter 28, verses 15, uh, the Bible showed us how King Saul went to inquire from a, a sorcerer about... Uh, his kingdom, about his life, about the war he was about to embark uh, onto. He went to inquire from the medium. Why? Because God has refused to answer him through dreams. Wow. God, let me open that scripture for you because tonight I just want to open some scriptures for you. First Samuel chapter 28. Go with me, please. First Samuel 28. He said that Saul went to consult a sorcerer, a medium just to inquire to know what the will of God is. And he has to ask the medium to call uh, the spirit of Samuel, so that Samuel can be able to tell him the mind of God. Why? Because God has stopped answering him through dreams. Let me show you that scripture. First Samuel chapter 28, verses 15. And Samuel said to Saul, Why hast thou disquieted me? to bring me up. And Saul answered, I am so distressed, for the Philistines make war against me, and God is departed from me, and answered me no more, neither by prophet, nor by dreams. Did you hear that? All the prophet of Saul could not design, could not receive any answer, whether Saul should go for the war or not. 
and God also has closed the, the dream world of Saul, that Saul does not see anything again through dreams. You see why it is an attack on your life as a Christian if you don't dream. It's a very serious attack. Saul understood this. Men, uh, men and women that serve the Lord in the old understood that when you live a life that is void of dreams, when you live a life without dreaming, it's an attack on your life. Your life is in a very serious danger. Another scenario I also saw was, um, you know, this great man called Job. Job also betrays this fact that God answers us through dreams. God answers us, answers our prayers through dreams. In Job chapter 33, I, I, please permit me tonight, I need you to see this scripture because this dream of a thing has been a conflicting matter in the life of so many believers. Some of you don't take your dream serious, you don't take matters serious. When it comes to dream, and, and forget it, my dream doesn't come to pass. Mm -hmm. Okay, don't worry yourself. Uh, uh, in, in Job chapter 33, Verses 14, he said, For God speaketh once, yet twice, yet man perceived it not. Did you hear that? God speaketh once. God sp spoke the second time, yet man perceived it not. And Job began to explain how God speaks to us once and how he speaks repeatedly. He said, how do God do this? He said, in a dream. That's the first time. In a vision. Of the night, when deep sleep falleth upon men, when deep sleep falleth upon men, a slumbering upon the bed. Did you hear that? Job was trying to tell us that there are two ways that God speaks to men. He said God speaks the first time in dreams. When you don't understand that dream, God will come and show you a vision. I hope somebody is getting some understanding tonight. This, this thing I'm unveiling to you tonight is going to be, uh, it's going to actually bring about uh, a, a change of perspective when it comes to dreaming in your life. And some of you that have been dreaming so many things and you don't take your dreams serious, this is going to actually open your eyes and help your life. So Job is trying to know that God speaketh to men twice. He speaks the first time. If you don't hear, he will speak the second one. So whenever you see a vision or you see a trance, as some people will call it, uh, before those trance will come, there might have been times that God has spoken to you in dreams. But because you did not understand, that is when you see God brings visions. And mind you, this dream of a thing is not restricted to mature believers. Even unbelievers, God reveals dreams to them. You remember how God saved Egypt from famine, from a global pestilence that was about to befall the earth. God revealed a dream to the king, King Pharaoh. But because Pharaoh could not interpret the dream, he consulted his magicians, hoping that they would be able to give him a, a meaning to those dreams. You see, some of the great men in the Bible, both the good and the bad, none of them dreams and doesn't look for the interpretation of a dream. None of them dreams. And take it light. Whenever they see anything in their revelation, they always go to make inquiries. To know what this means. Either they go to their magicians, they go to their astrologers, or they go to the servant of God. To make inquiry to know what God is trying to convert to them. That is why you need to take your dream very serious. Take your dream very serious. You will see the account of that in Genesis 42. Where when Pharaoh dreamed and how Joseph interpreted the dream and told Pharaoh that the dream you had is not actually a bad one. God is actually trying to show you what is going to happen in the first seven years, in the second seven years, and so on and so forth. Okay? So your dream is actually going to save you from some calamities if you take it very serious. You remember that Joseph himself, who actually interpreted the dream of Pharaoh, was actually a dreamer. The Bible told us that he had a dream in his childhood age. And when he finished interpreting the dream of Pharaoh, 
He was exalted to be the one to carry out the divine assignment of making sure that famine did not destroy the, 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 the fruits or the produce of the Egyptians and to make sure that the Egyptian does not go hungry in the years of famine. In the course of doing that, his dream came to pass. The Bible said, uh, uh, let me show you that scripture because you need to see it. Mm. In um, Genesis 42 verses 9. Genesis 42 verses 9. The dream of Joseph came to pass. He remembered his dream. When his brothers bowed to him. The Bible said that Joseph remembered his dream. He remembered. He remembered and he confirmed that indeed God cannot lie. Some of you may have a dream right now and you are expecting that the dream will happen in the next two, three days. It will not happen. Some of the dreams will take 30 years to come to pass. That is why as a believer you need to pray, especially if the dream is not a good one. Even if it's a good one, you need to pray to safeguard it. So that the enemies, the enemies that are specialists in aborting dreams, in hijacking dreams, will not intrude. And terminate the manifestation of that dream. Joseph, in that day, verses 9 of that Genesis chapter 42, and, and Joseph remembered the dreams. He remembered the dreams of where the moon and the stars bowed to him. He remembered the dreams. He remembered the dreams. He said, and Joseph remembered the dreams which he dreamed. Of his brothers, of them, and said unto them, Ye are spies to see the nakedness of the land you are come. And they said unto him, Nay, my Lord, the same my Lord that they called him in that when he was a child, when his father gave him the, the coat of many colors, his brothers repeated it. They bowed to him. He remembered his dream because the dream came to pass. Child of God, stop playing with your dream life. I am taking a little time tonight to open some scriptures to you. There are so many scriptures that talked about dreams. Remember that the life of Jesus was preserved through dreams. First of all, God preserved the marriage of, of Joseph and Mary through dreams. He made sure that Jesus was not that fatherless here on earth. He, 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 when, when Jesus was giving birth to and Herod was seeking to destroy his life, he gave a child that children that are born within that age rate should be destroyed. The Bible said that the angel of the Lord appeared to Joseph in a dream. In Matthew chapter 2, he appeared to Joseph in a dream and instructed Joseph to take the child and run away to Egypt. When the herald that was seeking after the life of the child died, in that same Matthew chapter 20, chapter, chapter 2, the Lord told her that the angel of God went back to him again in a dream and told him that those that seek the life of the child are all dead. Child of God, you see why you must not play with your dream. You see why you should not allow the enemies to, to actually mm, pollute your dream life and begin to manifest negativity. Some of you are actually dreaming, but what you are dreaming is not of the Lord. The Lord uses dream, the devil uses dream. He uses dream. And when the devil wants to confuse your life, when he wants to destroy or to counter the dreams of divinity, he will begin to bring some dangerous dreams into your life that will stir off fear. Let me tell you, child of God, when you see a dream that stirs off fear and the dream comes with no solution, Child of God, know that it's not of the Lord. Because God is not the author of confusion. God does not bring fear. God plants faith. That is how to know the difference between a dream that is from the Lord and the one that is from the devil. When God gives you a revelation that is terrible, telling you about a challenge that is coming, he will always show you the way of escape. Yes. But when it is from the devil, you will just be there afraid, no way out. No way out. So some of you under the sound of my voice, I am taking my time to tell you this because some of you, your dream life has been polluted. It is no longer the spirit of God that is working there. It is demonic powers. They, they, whenever they want to punch your faith in the Lord, they will come because they have already dominated your, the, the abstract aspect of your life. And mind you, when you are dreaming, it is your spirit man that is actually walking around. Your body, your flesh is at rest. 
And that is why you must take it very, very serious. Your spirit man is your, is your life, is you. Is you, is you. Anything that happens to your spirit man in the dream world tends to manifest in the physical realm. Especially if that thing is evil. That is why somebody will tell that I had a short arrow on my leg in the dream. The person will wake up and start feeling pains on the leg. Why? The spirit man was the one shot. That is why you see someone say, ah, they injected me in a dream. I woke up and I lost my baby. The spirit man was injected. And maybe you don't understand. The spirit controls the physical. What happens to your spirit man determines what will happen to your physical man. That is why you must not play with your dream. It is no yagada. The katura masitayada. The devil attacks your spirit man when you are asleep. You know, the Bible said that when men went asleep, the enemy came and saw us. You must not play with your dream. I believe that this has actually opened the eyes of somebody. I know it has opened your eyes. So when you dream, when you don't dream, is a danger sign. When you dream and forget, it is more terrible. <laughs> Some of you dream, but as soon as you get up, your brain will be like a tabula rasa. It will be as if they cleaned all the things you saw. It's an attack on your life. And why will the devil attack you in that area? He knows you are a praying Christian. If you remember, you will counter his evil. So for you not to, re, to, to be able to pray and to counter his wickedness, he will wipe it away from your memory. And may I give you a working tip on how to deal with that. Whenever you wake up from any dream and you observe that you have forgotten what you dream about, just pray and say, Lord, I can't remember what I saw in that revelation. But I know, I perceive in my spirit, man, that the devil is playing pranks with my life. Lord Jehovah, I release you. The God whose memory cannot be blotted out. Locate my dream world. Whatsoever evil the enemies has planted by the power of the Holy Ghost. I command every of the wicked works aborted. I decree it shall not play out in my physical life. It shall not play out in my marriage. It shall not play out in my children's life. It shall not play out in my ministry. It shall not play out in every area of my life and that of my spouse or whomever I have dreamed it over in the name of Jesus Christ. When you keep doing that and you keep doing it, the devil will not have any other option than to leave you alone. And when you see that you keep on having that issue repeatedly, please pray and ask the Lord to restore the spiritual memory of your spirit man. Ask the Lord to restore the spiritual memory of your spirit man. Every arrows of the enemies that have fired on his memory to make sure that your spirit man does not remember anything when he lays down. Ask the Lord to actually deal with that and restore your memory. Are you hearing me? Some of you, you will be in the dream. You will not be seeing things clearly. It is called spiritual cataract. They will put that in your spiritual eyes. You will be seeing something, but the thing will be blunt. That is why some close people, people that are close to you, that are, your, that are your enemies, you cannot be able to see them because your spiritual eyes is blinded by the demons that are in charge of covering the eyes of people in the dream world. But I pray for you. But eventually your dream life is under attack. Paraventure, your spiritual eyes has been closed. Paraventure, your spiritual memory has been wiped away by the wicked. Right now, by the power of the Holy Ghost, I decree divine restoration and I command your restoration to be forever. That demon that is actually blinding you in the dream, that demon that is actually wiping away your memory, that demon that is making you not to remember anything you see in the dream, right now, I command them to lose their hopes of your life now and forever in the name of Jesus Christ. 
Amen. Child of God, with this understanding tonight, I want you to break open your mind and say, Lord, I thank you for your word. I thank you for opening my eyes to this divine knowledge. Lord, tonight I welcome you into tonight prayers. I welcome you, my Father. I cannot help myself. You are the one that created my spirit, man, and you planted it in this body to dwell on this body, Lord. Tonight, Lord, I have come to welcome you, O Lord, into my battlefield. Arise, my Father. I work tonight, Jesus. I work tonight, Holy Ghost. I work tonight, the angels of God. Come to my rescue tonight. As I pray, Lord, you have my permission. Enter into my spirit, man. Enter into my abstract world. Enter into my soul. Enter into my spirit. Enter into every angle of my life and begin to fix everything that needs to be fixed tonight. Even beyond what I will ever ask or think about in tonight prayers. Open your mouth, child of God. Appreciate your father and begin to welcome your father tonight. Begin to welcome our battle fighter. Begin to welcome the honor of heaven and earth. The God that seeth the spirit and the physical. Ask the Lord to have his way tonight in our prayer sessions in this prayer season. Ask the Lord and say, Lord, have your way. Have your way. Have your way. Have your way. Mm. Lord Jehovah, tonight without you we can do nothing. We thank you for this great privilege in your presence again. We thank you, Father, because we know tonight our freedom has come. Our liberty has come. Our deliverance has come. Lord, have your way. Jehovah, have your way. Jesus Christ, have your way. Advocate for us tonight. Advocate for us tonight. Spirit of the living God, it is Spirit versus spirit. You are the one that breathed upon this flesh. The spirit of God called man. You breathed into us the spirit that is in us right now. Spirit of the living God. Enter into our spirit man. Enter into our spirit man and begin to fix everything that has gone wrong in our spirit. Everything that has gone wrong in our spirit man. Everything that has gone wrong in the spirit man of our husband, of our children of our household and the Holy Ghost and the Holy Ghost and the Holy Ghost uh, tonight and uh, fight for us uh, tonight and uh, pour us tonight and uh, fix uh, everything that needs to be fixed uh, as we pray tonight uh, hear us Holy Ghost uh, and answer us now intercede with all spirit of the living God uh, manifest your power you are the one that is always available in the ministry days of Jesus uh, we welcome you Holy Spirit uh, come down in your power and heal. Come down in your power and restore. Come down in your power and deliver us tonight from dream afflictions, from dream afflictors. In the name of Jesus Christ, the ministry angels of God, the warrior angels of God, the heavenly surgical angels, we welcome you all tonight. Come, we need you like never before. There is a surgery that needs to take place in our spirit man tonight, in our dream world tonight. Spirit of the living God, the ministry spirit of God, we welcome you. The host of the angelic heavenly doctors, we welcome you. Come and carry out the surgical oppression in our spirit, man, in the, in the, from the crown of our head to the sole of our feet. Carry out the surgical oppression tonight. And let at the end of tonight's meeting, Jehovah, your name will be glorified. Have your way, my Father. You have our permission to assess our life, to assess our husbands, to assess our children, to assess every aspect of our lives where the enemy has been playing pranks using our dream lives in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Child of God, we are going to pray and say, Father, any sin in me that is going to stop you tonight uh, from hearing my prayers, uh, any sin in my spouse, uh, any sin in my children uh, that is going to stand as a barrier, uh, Lord, mercy, Lord, forgive me, Lord, forgive my children, uh, forgive my spouse, uh, forgive my household, uh, Lord, any sin in us, uh, any sin at all uh, that is going to stand as a barrier, uh, Lord, have mercy upon us, uh, poor 
just my father of every contamination. Pour just my father of every sin at all. That is going to stand as a limitation. That is going to stand as a barrier. That is going to stop you, Lord, from hearing us tonight. Lord, my father, pour just of them all. Pour just of them all. Please, Father, forgive us. Take away every filthy garment. Take away every filthy garment that is giving the accuser a legal ground to accuse us and to stop our answers tonight. Lord Jehovah, take it away. Take it away. Take it away. At the end of everything, Lord, your name will be glorified in the name of Jesus Christ. Have your way, Holy Spirit. We welcome you, divinity. Come and take your place in the name of Jesus Christ. We pray. Amen. Child of God, the first prayer that we are going to pray tonight is to ask the Lord and just pray and say, Father, as I pray tonight, uproot and destroy every poison of darkness injected or planted into my life through the dream world. Hear me again. Father, as I pray tonight, uproot and destroy every poison of darkness, every poison of darkness injected and planted into my body. Body, injected and planted into my soul, injected and planted into my spirit, man, through the dream walls. Open your mouth and begin to pray. Oh Lord, my Father, your wall says that whatsoever is not planted by you must be uprooted. Therefore, Father, tonight I invoke you, the God that searched all things. Jehovah, search my life, search my soul, search my spirit, search my body, search that of my husband, that of my children, that of my entire household members, every demonic poison, every satanic poison, every poison of darkness that the enemies have injected into our body, that the enemies has planted into our body, that the enemies has encountered into our lives through the dream world, any poison planted through sexual intercourse with a spirit wife, with a spirit husband, you demonic poison planted through food in the dream. You demonic poison planted through demonic injection of any drug in the dream. You demonic poison planted through whatever we drank in the dream. Right now, by the power of the Holy Ghost, I command you, oh yeah, out, 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 out. Oh Lord, my Father, oh put them now, oh put them now, Spirit of the Living God. Do your work, do your work in our lives. Every poison that the enemy has injected, every poison, every poison, every poison that they have injected into our body, into our soul, into our spirit, through any bite of any dog, of any snake, of any animal, through any medium, whatsoever that have injected into our body. Into our soul, into our body, into our soul, into our spirit. Right now, the angelic surgical angels of God enter into our body. All put them now. That planting of the wicked, that planting that has manifested in our lives as sickness, as fibroid, as cancer. Right now, you demonic poison be uprooted now, be cast into the lake of abyss. Go there. Remain the above with the spirit backing you up. Remain the above never to carry out some wickedness in our flesh, in our soul, in our body anymore. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Child of God, I don't know the poison that the wicked one, that the darkness, that the kingdom of darkness has planted into your body. I don't know the poison that they have planted through occultism, through diabolic, through diabolism, through astral projection into your life. I don't know the one that have projected through the dream world. But right now, as your amen will thunder, I release the Holy Spirit of God to enter into your body right now with the blood of Jesus. 
Ghost was I'll flush out every poison and uproot every evil plant of the wicked in your life and cast them all into abyss as they operate on you, they operate on me and our entire household members right now in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Child of God, we are still praying. You are going to pray and say, Lord, perform your surgical operation in my life as I pray right now. Perform your surgical operation in my spirit, man. Listen to me as you are praying this prayer. If you feel impressed to vomit, please vomit. If you, Because God is actually going to conduct deliverance in some people's life tonight. Some of those things that is manifesting as a as, 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 um, uh, ovarian cyst, as a um, cyst, uh, as fibroid, as one sickness or the other in your life, as poison on your leg. By the reason of tonight's prayers, the Spirit of God is already conducting surgical operations. You will go back to your doctor and your doctor will tell you that you don't have that sickness again. So please don't play with what we are doing tonight. There are some demonic sickness that have been planted in your life, but tonight by the ministry of the angelic, uh, angelic surgeons, there will be an operating of that nonsense out of your life forever and you'll be free and free indeed in the name of Jesus Christ. You're going to pray and say, Lord, perform your surgical oppression in my life tonight and get rid of me, get rid out of me of every deposit of the enemies that has accumulated in my body over the years. Some of you, these demons have been planting this thing in your life from the day one. You you find when you, are, you don't even know anything, you cannot say I, you cannot say um B, you cannot say anything. Uh, they have been planting it in you. Uh, you will see yourself in the dream you are eating. You don't know they are eating poison. Uh, you don't know you are eating maggot. You are eating cancer. You are eating fibro. Uh, you are eating disease. You are eating this and that. Uh, you never knew what you were eating. You are eating affliction from the afflictors. Uh, from dream afflictors. Uh, you never knew what you were eating. Uh, but tonight you are going to say, Lord, every accumulation uh, of demonic deposit in my body, and just of God, I surrender my body. And just of God, I surrender my soul. And just of God, I surrender my spirit, man. Or you conduct a surgical oppression on me right now. Let that accumulated problem, that accumulated challenge, that accumulated affliction that this dream afflictors has released into my life over the years. From the day one I was delivered from my mother's womb till now. Everything that have actually released into my life from the time I was in my mother's womb. When I was actually, of, uh, I don't even understand myself. Uh, whatsoever this dream planter, this dream afflictor uh, has planted in my life any kind of affliction uh, and jaws of God, or you're located, whether the affliction has been for 30 years, uh, for 20 years, for 25 years, for 10 years, for 5 years, uh, for 2 years, locate them right now, or you begin to uproot every evil planted uh, that is planted in me by dream, begin to uh, uh, conduct surgical oppression right now, conduct surgical oppression on me, uh, on my children, Children on my husband uh, right now and begin to remove uh, every evil plantation uh, that is planted through dreams. Uh, remove them now, remove them now, remove them now. Uh, let them be gone forever. Let them be gone forever with every affliction they have brought into my life, uh, with every affliction they have brought into my health, uh, with every affliction they have brought to my destiny, uh, with every affliction they have brought to my marriage, uh, every affliction they have brought to my husband's life, uh, to his career, to his ministry, uh, to my children's life, to their destiny, to their academics. Uh, every evil that that thing has what about uh, your evil plantation be operated right now be operated now some of you uh, five blood is being taken away from your body that growth in your body that stone uh, in your kidney is going out uh, is a demonic planting is going up right now by the power of the holy ghost is going out uh, the angels are operating on you right now open your mouth and pray call that sickness by name uh, and say lord this sickness in my body that is planted through dreams uh, right now angelic soldiers uh, or your oppressor me. Oh, yeah, operate on me. Some of you have gone for different kind of operations. You have done the first one, second one, third one, and the thing is there. It is not ordinary. It is demonically planted through dreams. Ask the Lord to operate the surgical operation on you right now. That thing that you have traveled to India to do, 
Noah and he did not walk as the angel of God right now. Oh yeah, oh press on me. Oh yeah, oh press on me. I surrender my body. I surrender my soul. I surrender my spirit. Oh bruise. Oh bruise. Every growth. Every deposit. Oh yeah, drain. Drain out of me. Every demonic fluid. Every demonic plantation. Every demonic seed. Every demonic plantation that planted in me. Through dreams. Oh press on me. Remove them all. Oh press on my children. Remove them all. Oh press on my husband. Remove them all. Right now. Right now. Right now. Right now. That evil that I planted on you. So bring to your life. Untimely death. Command the angels of God. So I'll put it now. So I'll put it now. Oh put. Oh put. Plantings of the wicked. Bring in miscarriage. Mm. Bring him his courage that is actually swallowing the spam of your husband, making sure you don't conceive as the angel of God. So approach every spirit, every evil plantation, every evil deposit, every spiritual deposit right now. Be uprooted, be operated upon. Surgical operation of divinity is taking place now. It's taking place now in somebody's life. In somebody's life, somebody's womb is receiving cleansing by the hand of the angelic soldiers. Right now, I see somebody's womb. They have lifted it up. They are clean up the womb with their blood. And they are fixing it back. They are fixing it back. I don't know what you are going through. But right now, by the power of the Holy Ghost, the angels are working on you. I am seeing somebody that is using oxygen right now. I don't know why you are using that oxygen. But the Spirit of God is saying that your lungs is having issues. Your lungs are having issues, but the angels of God, the angelic surgeons, have stepped into where you are right now. They are operating on you. They are operating on you. They are fixing a new lungs. They are removing the already damaged one that your enemies has damaged through dream plantation. And they are planting a fresh lungs. And you are receiving your healing right now. Right now. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Child of God, even after tonight prayers. I command the angelic soldiers as you lay on your bed tonight. Let the angelic soldiers, oh my goodness, somebody before you wake up this morning, before you wake up the next month, the next day, before you wake up after this prayer, you will observe that that fire blood has flushed out as if it's coming at a menstrual cycle. Somebody is going to receive a heavy flow, a very heavy flow, and as that flow is coming out, you begin to see drops of blocks, blocks of blood. That's what God is showing me right now. Blocks of blood will begin to come out of your body. Child of God, don't quench it. Don't quench it. Allow it to go. It's a, med it's a surgical operation that the angels of God are conducting on you. After that is gone. Just make sure you get something that will be giving you strength. Because when you're losing blood, it's not always easy. But the angels of God will flush out that demonic plantation. That demonic growth on your body. As they flush it out, go and shake yourself. You will Turn back to see that that fire blood is no more there. As your amen will turn that, so shall you be enlisted among those that the angels of God will deliver from fire blood if you're having that case tonight. In the name of Jesus Christ, amen. I don't know what uh, your enemies have stolen from you through dreams. I don't know what belongs to you. The Bible told us how the glory of Ephraim flee away from the womb. What actually is pursuing the glory is what I don't know. Whether it is glory hunters that came after the glory and the glory refused and left. I don't know what they have stolen from you. Some of you will agree with me. I don't know if someone has had such a dream before you saw yourself in the dream they stole your money you woke up in the day you begin to suffer financially you saw yourself in a dream somebody was questioning you to pay them the debt you did not know when you owed them and you woke up you begin to suffer financially they are calling spiritual dream tax masters they are always busy moving about looking for whom to collect tax from and as soon as you begin to pay them that tax that is it that is it your finance will never be stable. They will keep on having access to your finance. They will keep on coming to collect that amount of money. Whether you are aware of it or not aware of it. That is what they call spiritual... Um 
what is called uh, spiritual and uh, protectors uh, and protectors of good things of life. Uh, that's what they call the um empty us, empty us, dream empty us. Uh, their plan is to make sure they empty your life of every good thing in it. Uh, I want us to pray against these three, left, three different kind of dream stealers, uh, dream criminals, uh, criminals that comes through dreams to steal from people. Uh, number one is, uh, is what I will call in a compound form, uh, dream criminals. Uh, the second one is what I will call dream and potatoes, and potatoes of good things. Uh, agents of darkness that are actually specialists uh, in and put uh, in in our protein in our button uh, good things that happens for your life uh. and so another one is what i call that uh, dream emptiers emptiers of people's life uh. they will empty your life of any good thing that enters uh. they will empty your life of every good thing that god has released uh. and negative i don't know the one you are suffering uh, but they are going to pray and say father tonight uh, every dream criminal every dream and potato every 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 dream emptier after my life after the good things that your God has released to my life, any dream criminal stealing my blessings, a cool brother, every dream criminal having access to my open doors and all the good things meant for me. Right now, as I pray, I command you to lose me and be strong, dead, lose my children, lose my husband, lose my ministry, lose my destiny, lose every aspect of my life that they're operating upon and be strong. Strong dead, a gent of darkness with a ministry of unprotecting good things that wants to spring forth out of my life. Every agent of darkness with a ministry of making sure that no good things spring forth out of me. Every agent of darkness that is actually an emptier of good things that empties any good thing that enters to my life, they will take it from one side and divert it. Every agent of darkness that is a criminal of the good things that God has sent into my life. Right now, as I pray, be arrested by the fire of the Holy Ghost. Be arrested by the fire of the Holy Ghost. Lose me now. Lose me now. Lose me now. And be cast into the lake of abyss. Lose me now. And be destroyed by fire. If you are a human being, if you are a human being, by the power of the Holy Ghost, I command you to slump and die. Slump and die. Whether you are a man, a woman, a boy, a girl, a young person, an elderly person, an old person, right now, be strong dead by the sword of divinity. Be strong dead. Be strong dead. Be strong dead. Be strong dead. Release me now and die. Release me now and die. Release my ministry now and die. Release my children now and die. Release everything that belongs to us. You have emptied. Everything that belongs to us. You have unprotected. Everything that belongs to us. You have stolen. Oh, yeah, restore them now. Restore them now. Restore them now. In the name of Jesus Christ, be destroyed. Every spirit that you have released to carry out this demonic assignment against my life, I bind that demonic force and I cast it right now into the lake of abyss. Let it remain the bound, never to assess me, never to assess my children, never to assess our ministry, never to assess my husband, never to assess any area of our lives again. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. I don't know the aspect of your life that dream emptiers, that dream and potatoes, that destiny criminals, that criminals that operate in the dream have been operating upon. But right now, as your amen will turn that, I command the ministry that minated in your life. No more shall they be able to assess you or your spouse or your children or your business or the work of your hands in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Shall I go where I still pray? You are going to pray against every demonic animal that your enemies has released to, to, to your dream to afflict you. Some of you, you always see cats, you see dog, you see snake. At times, some of these vulture, they will come to attack you. And they get there. Some of them, sometimes you will see goat, you will see human being. You know that some of you right now are suffering from what they call spirit wife and spirit husband because somebody has released the spirit, the spirit the spirit of the dead from the from the graveyard and the spirit of the 
dead, the, the man that is dead will begin to afflict you in a dream uh, and it will begin to have carnal knowledge of you. Uh, when they finish having carnal knowledge of you, uh, the sender will invoke them back and collect the spam. Uh, the sender will invoke them back and collect the semen uh, that came out of you during that sexual intercourse. Uh, and as long as they're collecting those things that you release through that sexual intercourse in the dream, uh, you will not be able to succeed in life. Uh, you might not be able to progress in life. Uh, you might not be able to carry your own children. Uh, I don't know the spirit of the dead uh, that have released against you. And that spirit of the dead you have been calling, say, oh, I have spirit husband. No, there is somebody that is operating on the graveyard, uh, invoking the spirit of a dead man uh, to come and make love with you in the dream. Uh, there is somebody somewhere invoking the spirit uh, of a dead woman uh, to come and make love with you. Uh, and when they come, you will begin to see them that are spirit wife and spirit husband. Uh, it's the spirit of the dead. Uh, it's the spirit of, the, it's not a human being. Uh, it's not the human being somewhere. It's a spirit being that I have invoked into your life uh, through astral projection, uh, through diverse means of any sort. Uh, and as that spirit comes, child of God, nothing will ever work in your life. Some of you agree with me that whenever you have this kind of sex, uh, if there is a major breakthrough that is about to happen for you, uh, that breakthrough will be aborted. Uh, I don't know what your enemies, uh, the attackers, the afflictors of your dream life have released into your life, but you are going to pray and say, Father, any animal, any human being, any spirit being, any personality that is carrying out uh, that is uh, uh, engaging in astral travel uh, to come to your dream world uh, to make love with you uh, in order to abort the good things that God has destined for your life, uh, in order to stop your life from making progressive progress uh, or that of your husband or your children. Uh, you are going to pray and say, Father, right now as I pray, release your fire, release your brimstone, release your rot of destruction, release the angel of destruction with their sword of war. Let them locate my dream world and kill every evil bird. Let them kill every evil snake, every evil dog, every bat, every vulture, every cat, every man, every cow, every goat, whatsoever kind of animals, every cat of any sort, whether white or black, that have released to our dream world, that have released to my husband dream world. Some of these crocodiles that have released, I don't know what they have released to your dream world. As the Lord to arise with his fire, with his sword of war, and destroy them. Let that spirit man die. Let that spiritual woman die. Let that evil, evil cat, evil animals die. Any evil animal, any evil animal, any evil creature that have released upon our dream life, any demonic animal that have released onto our lives through dreams that is still attacking our lives, that is destroying things around us, that is afflicting us with one sickness or the other, I command you, mm, you evil animal, you evil bird, you evil vulture, you evil, evil, evil goat, evil cow, whatsoever kind of animal you are, you evil man, going on astral travel against my life, practicing astral walks to enter my dream world, I command you, be strong dead, by the angel of the presence of God right now, be strong dead, be strong dead, be strong dead, be strong dead, right now, right now, angel of God, no mercy, no mercy, massacre them all, massacre them all, enough is enough to their afflictions in my life, in my husband life, in my children life, you that evil goat, die, 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 by the sword of God, be destroyed, be destroyed, be destroyed, every of your access route, every of your entrance route into our dream world, we command close right now, by the blood of Jesus Christ, let it remain closed forever and ever in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. I don't know the kind of animal they have released to your dream world, but as you aim with thunder, I don't know the kind of human being they have released to your dream world. I don't know who is actually coming on their own, using astral means to afflict you in the dream. But right now, as you aim with thunder, I release the angel of death to locate that man, that woman, that evil animal, and let them be utterly destroyed now in the name of Jesus Christ. Let death seize them. And let the grave receive the corpse in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Hmm. 
Tell God we are still praying. I don't know who is having evil dream for you. They will come and tell you that they saw one evil against you. And before you know it, that dream will begin to manifest in your life. I don't know the evil dreams you have had in the past or in the present that is actually afflicting your life or, 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 or that is being sponsored by a household wickedness against you. But you are going to pray and say, Father, right now as I pray, I I have bought the effect of every evil dream I have had in the past. I know some of you right now, there are some dreams you have had in the past and you did not pray about it. Those dreams are already playing out in your life. Some of you, under the sound of my voice, there is a dream that you are about to have that wants to play out in your life. You are going to abort both the present dream, both the future dream, both the ones you have for yourself, the ones you had for your husband, the ones that somebody somewhere has heard about you. You are going to about that demonic dream uh, and every spirit that is backing it up uh, say father it shall not play out in my life uh, it shall no more play out in my ministry uh, it shall not come to pass uh, neither will it stand uh, every evil dream uh, that anybody has had uh, any evil revelation uh, every evil vision uh, that anybody has seen uh, against my life uh, against my husband life uh, against my children life uh, right now your time is up uh, your ministry is up your number of days is now. I command your ministry aborted. I command you to be to be destroyed and let you be destroyed forever. That evil dream that is bringing about affliction, that is bringing about pain, that is bringing about shame, disgrace, God case, sickness of any sort in our lives, in our marriage, in our destiny. Right now, whether it's the one we saw, the one that somebody saw for us. Right Right now, I command that dream aborted from having effect upon our lives. You evil dream, you are not allowed to come to pass in our life again. You are not allowed to play out in our future. You are not allowed to play out in our present anymore. You are hereby aborted and aborted forever. You are hereby destroyed from manifesting, from manifesting every evil power backing you up. We bind them all by the power of the Holy Ghost and we cast them into abyss now. Let them remain their bound never to assess us again till Jesus Christ comes in his glory and take us with him back to heaven in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Child of God, I don't know what somebody said they have seen against you or they have seen about your life, about your ministry. But right now, in agreement with you, as your amen with thunder, I decree that dream will not play out in your life anymore. Whether peradventure that dream is already playing out in your life, I terminate the ministry of that evil spirit in your life. I command the ministry of that evil dream in your life right now to be aborted and be aborted forever. In the name of Jesus Christ, any dream you have had that is about to manifest in your future negatively, I decree it shall not come to pass. I command it aborted in the name of Jesus Christ. It is aborted forever with the evil effect. It shall not play out in you. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. You are going to pray about your spiritual life. You are going to pray about your dream world. You know, your dream world is your abstract world. The world wherein your spirit man dwells. The world wherein your spirit man walks around even when your body is resting. You are going to pray and say, Father, every power of the night or day that is polluting my dream world, that is polluting my dream, dream life, and wiping my spiritual memory from remembering those dreams that you've got release unto me. Every power of darkness uh, that is altering and confusing my spiritual my spirit, uh, my dream world and uh, making me to be confused uh, between the revelation from you and revelation from the devil. Uh, right now Lord, that demonic power of confusion uh, that power of destruction uh, that demonic polluters uh, that have been released into my dream world uh, what are you waiting for? Holy Spirit of God, uh, arise them all, uh, arise them all uh, angels of the living God, uh, arise 
cleanse them now. Oh yeah, pack them all into the lake of abyss. Conduct a spiritual sanitation right now in my dream world. Conduct a spiritual sanitation right now in the dream world of my husband. In my children's dream world. Any dream again that is not from the Lord is hereby banned from operating in my dream life. From operating in my dream world. Any dream that is not of the Lord. That is not divinely inspired. That is not of divinity. Every dream of fear. Every dream that wants to bring affliction. I command you. You are no more permitted to assess my dream world. You are not permitted to assess my husband dream world. You are not permitted to assess my children dream world. In the name of Jesus Christ. Spirit of the living God. Go into my dream world right now. Conduct the spiritual sanitation. And cast away those of the evil spirit. Buying and treading in my dream world. And bringing about confusion in my dream world. Every power of darkness. Bringing about spiritual cataracts. Confusion in my sight. Bringing about spiritual blindness. Bringing about spiritual mental issues. I command you right now. By the power of the Holy Ghost. Be bound and be cast into abyss. My dream world. Be sanitized by the blood of Jesus Christ right now. Be, be, be covered by the fire of the Holy Ghost. No more access to anything at all that is not of the Lord. The same prayer. I pray for my husband. I pray for my children. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Child of God, the Bible said that when the children of Israel left Egypt and they were heading to the promised land, the Lord covered them by the pillar of cloud by day and the pillar of fire by night. Tonight, child of God, I ask that the covering of God will enter into your dream life, into your dream world. Let the fire of God come round about your dream world and let every access route of the wicked into your dream world be closed for Forever. Be close forever. Be close forever. In the name of Jesus Christ. No more access to your enemies into your dream world. No more confusion. No more spiritual blindness. No more dream, no more cataract in your spiritual eyes. No more blanking of your memories. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Shall I go before we go into the communion? We are still praying. You are going to pray and say, Father, every evil plant. Of, or, or every evil plans of the marine world, every evil plans and afflictions and sickness that the marine world has projected into my life through dreams, every evil plan that are projected into my future through dreams, every evil affliction, every sickness that are programmed into my future, that are programmed into my present, that have brought from my past. Right now, as I pray, I command that affliction, that evil plans of theirs, that sickness of theirs, that evil programming of theirs, I command them all dismantled and aborted forever. I don't know what plans your dream afflictors have for your future. I don't know what is their long term goal but you are going to pray. But eventually there is something they have already programmed into your next two years, into your next one month, into your next day against your life before now. Say Father right now I I pray. Let that the evil plan, that affliction that I have kept to wait for me on the day of my delivery, that affliction that I have kept to wait for me on my wedding day, that affliction that I have released, that sickness, that trouble that have already released the spirit to go ahead of me to wait for me. Right now, I command that evil dismantled and destroyed. Be dismantled and destroyed. Be dismantled and aborted forever in the name of Jesus Christ. Every spirit backing it up, be cast into abyss now. In the name of Jesus Christ, amen. Shall God, I pray that evil plan of your dream afflictors, that affliction that have released into your future, I decree it aborted and dismantled forever. In the name of Jesus Christ, amen. You are going to kill that man that is planting affliction, that man that is planting troubles, that agent of darkness, that force of darkness that is planting affliction into your life through dreams. I don't know who is that wicked uncle. 
people that is on a ministry of planting wickedness, aborting your weddings, aborting your children, bringing a bad lack of conception, destroying your manhood, destroying your strength, destroying your business. You know, God showed me a terrible revelation some time ago after my graduation. The first morning I invested in business, I saw myself in a farm where I finished farming. And this um, this yam I planted uh, was about to spring out. Uh, you know, the stem was coming out. Uh, and I saw one of my wicked uh, 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 sister-in-laws went and began to uproot that yam from there and began to cut out the stem. I was shocked. I didn't take it serious. I just prayed a casual prayer. You know, I said casual believer. I prayed a casual prayer. I didn't take it so serious. In less than two months, that business crumbled. My staffs, they packed everything I had. I was on zero. It was then I remembered that dream that I didn't take serious. I don't know who is that wicked uncle. That woman that is married into your father's house. Into your, into your lineage, into your family. That is on a mission of always monitoring your life. Whenever they see something good coming, they will go and uproot it. It is time for them to let you go or they die. You are going to pray. Remember the theme of the book? Of this program says, let me go or you die. Don't forget that. So you're going to say, Father, anybody at all pursuing my life, any afflictor from my father's side, from my mother's side, from the place I got married, from where I am living, from the vicinity I've lived before, any afflictor that is afflicting my life through the dream world, any man or woman, boy or girl, old or young, let me go now or you die. Let me go now or be destroyed. Angel of God, search the them out wherever they are every stubborn pursuer of my life through the dream world every stubborn afflictor of my destiny of my marriage of my health through the dream world that have refused to let me go angel of god tonight seize them with death let death seize them let death seize them let their breath be taken away from them holy ghost take away their breath those of them that says that my head will not be lifted that I will not amount to anything left and they're on a mission to always abort good things out of my life through the dream world right now Lord as I pray arise my father arise my battle fighter look at them now struck them dead struck them dead struck them dead anyone at all afflicting my life afflicting my husband life afflicting my children life through dreams what are you waiting for fall and die Fall and die, fall and die. Any power, any man, any woman, evil personalities, or cultic men, diabolic men, witches, wizard, marine agents, astral agents of darkness, walking wonders of wickedness in my life through dreams. I command you be strong, dead by the sword of Gibraltar, by the sword of Yeshua, by the sword of Jesus, be the strong. Right now, be the strength now, be the strength now. Lose me, lose me, lose me. I don't know where they have bottled you and they're busy manipulating your life, monitoring your life. Ask the Lord to cause them, to give them a charge, to lose you now and die. Lose me now and die. Lose me now and die. Jesus gave a command to these afflictors to let me go now, to let me go now, to let me go now and be destroyed, and be destroyed, and be destroyed by fire, by fire by fire. Let them die in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. I don't know who is that agent of darkness in your father's side, in the yard where you are, that wicked uncle, that wicked landlord, that wicked business partner, that wicked colleague in the office, whomever is pursuing your life, whomever is afflicting you through dreams, that is a human being, that is releasing evil spirit against you to destroy your life and your future. Right now, as you amen with thunder, I command them to be strong dead. Let death seize them. Let death seize them. If they refuse to let you go, let them and the entire household be wiped away. Be wiped away. Be wiped away. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. 
Child of God, tonight communion, the Lord told me it's going to bring about a total cleansing of demonic plantations in our lives. It's going to bring about total cleansing of your house, of every spirit released by your dream afflictors that are actually residing in the same house with you. Tonight, communion is going to bring about total liberty upon your life, upon your destiny, upon everything that pertains to you and your family. So please get me your communion things right now. Get it ready and begin to pray and say, Father, as I partake of tonight, communion, every evil at all, every enemy at all, every spirit at all, released by the enemies to my apartment to afflict me, to afflict my marriage, to afflict my ministry. Let them all be destroyed. Let them all be destroyed. Let them all be destroyed. Let them all be destroyed by fire, by fire, by fire, by fire, by fire, by fire, by fire. Right now, right now, as I pray, let them be destroyed. As I pray, let them be destroyed. As I pray, let them be destroyed. Every man, every woman, every boy, every girl afflicting my life through dreams, whatsoever evil that have released, evil release, evil plantation, evil deposit of theirs into my dream world. As I partake of the flesh, as I partake of the blood, be destroyed, be destroyed, be destroyed, be destroyed by fire, by fire, by fire. Fire, by 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 fire, in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Le kata barada barada, malego dosi prada barata ya. Le kata barada dada basha kaya da. Le kozuga na branga dada dada dada. Male kato ko branga de ya da. Child of God, I pray for you. As you partake of tonight communion, as you partake of tonight communion, I command rega bo suprada. Every evil, every evil done against you, against your soul, against your spirit, against your body. I command them all to be utterly destroyed by the power of the Holy Ghost in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Please lift up your your wine and your 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 bread or whatever you have as a representative of the flesh of Christ right now while I pray. Father, this is just but an ordinary material made by a human being. Lord, they don't have the power to turn themselves to the blood of Jesus Christ. But your, your presence, your presence Holy Spirit changes everything. I call upon you the spirit of the living God. Breathe upon this right now and turn this everything that your children have lifted up into the flesh, into the, into, into the blood of Jesus Christ and the flesh of Christ. Let the power in the blood, the power in the flesh of Jesus Christ enter into these things right now and let them just cease from being ordinary materials to a powerhouse of Jesus. And as they will use it, as they will eat of it and drink of it, every evil that is afflicting their lives through dreams, let it fall out of their lives right now. Every spirit released against them through the dream world, let that spirit be arrested. Every access root of evil spirit, of evil release, of their enemies to dreams is here by close as they sprinkle their houses, as they anoint themselves with the blood tonight, and as they anoint their loved ones, that access root of dream afflictors, of evil, evil release, of dream afflictors is closed forever into their household, into their lives, into their destiny. In the name of Jesus Christ, Lord, arise with your power, arise with your might and let all our enemies, all afflictors of our lives, through dreams, be utterly destroyed. In the name of Jesus Christ, we pray. Amen, amen, amen. Shall I go, go ahead right now, partake of the flesh and drink of the blood. Go ahead and anoint yourself. Amount yourself, amount your loved ones, and decree that no evil shall ever cleave unto you again through dreams. No evil shall ever cleave unto me. No evil shall ever cleave unto my children through dreams again. My dream world, you are covered with the fire of the Holy Ghost. My dream world, the dream world of my children, my spouse, my business, every angle of our lives is covered with the blood of Jesus Christ. Our dream world is covered by the fire of the Holy Ghost. No more access to dream afflictors. No 
more access to the powers of darkness to every area of our lives. Uh, in the name of Jesus Christ. Uh, it is well with you. It is well with your family. It is well with your loved ones. Child of God, go in this thy might. And may the Lord perfect what he has begun in your life tonight. As you lay down in the name of Jesus Christ. Tomorrow we shall be praying against uh, the idols and evil powers of your father's house. The, uh, the idols and evil powers of our father's house. Please, if there is a prayer you must not miss, it must be this prayer. Don't miss this prayer tomorrow night. As you show up here, the spirit of the living God will deliver you from that family idol and the evil powers of your father's house. In the name of Jesus Christ. Don't forget to share this broadcast with somebody. If today is your first time of joining us on this prayer and you have not subscribed, Please, why not do so right now? Subscribe to this channel, and as you do so, the Lord himself will bless you, increase you, and honor you. In the name of Jesus Christ. I am still your sister, Apostle Amaka Samralainis. God bless you.